Having a website is the number one most important thing that you can do for your business or personal brand in 2024. Welcome back to another website case study video. Today's case study is going to be on the Garden of Hope Foundation website. And as I said in previous videos, as we've said in previous videos, these videos are for education purposes only. The purpose of these videos is so that um, as nonprofits, we make sure that our websites are ideal and well optimized for the end user, for the end user. So without further ado, let's get into this case study. So we always start with the mission statement, which you can see here, they get 10 out of 10 for having the mission statement be one of the first things that the website visitor sees that they work towards creating sustainable communities by empowering youth in urban, informal settlements and underserved communities in Kenya. And then under that, they have uh, a call to action button that says donate. Now, the only feedback I would have for them is that the hero image, which is behind the which is behind the mission statement the hero image they have one of their beneficiaries in a green sweater and their call to action button is also green and so i would recommend that they either add a border to that donate button to make it pop out more to make it more prominent so once we talk about the mission statement we're going to address the header section because the primary menu is another big element for any non-profit website so as i've said in previous videos it is always advisable to have four four um key navigation points on your primary menu or less four or less and those four always include the donate button those four always include the donate button so you want to make sure that you have your donate button separately you want to make sure that you have your about us your about us section should have your team should have your contact information should have your um any anything that has to do should also have your blog if you have additional resources you can also put them under the about section then you have your programs or your impact segment that is where your programs are all the programs all the information about your programs should be found there before i forget or before i move on from this section your about section should also have your um annual reports now those are very very important and those go towards um securing the securing trust and credibility as a non-profit so make sure that you're very very keen on that now if you have any additional information as i said before you have one other segment where you can um add all that other information like work with us or something like that then you can have a section like that where you have uh, the volunteer segment you have a partner with us become a mentor can all go under work with us so with that out of the way we're going to move on we're going to scroll through this website and see what it is we can learn from the strengths and weaknesses of this particular website now before i move on i will uh, i will mention briefly that you can see that they have uh, that they have added their social media icons here and this is social media again goes towards that securing that trust and credibility in your nonprofit. and as i've said in previous videos as a nonprofit, trust and credibility is your currency the more trust you have the more easy it is for you to secure donors the more easy it is for you to secure donations the more easy it is for you to secure, secure partnerships so again you want to ensure that you're doing everything within your capacity to secure that trust in, and credibility in your nonprofit. okay so we're going to scroll down and see what else they have on their website. So you can see under the hero section, they have an, a, an about us section that briefly talks about who they are, give more information about who they are and who they serve. Then under that, they have their programs. The only feedback I have is that um, the, the titles for the sections are not that prominent. Um, yeah, that's the only feedback I have about that. Anyway, they have their, their programs laid out. The only um, additional thing I would add for them here is that they should have a call to action button that empowers the website visitors to go and check out their programs, like a learn more about our programs button or something like that. Then they have an impact section. Now for nonprofits, this is so important. This is so important because this helps cement the narrative about why your nonprofit is trustworthy, about why people should help you in achieving your mission or achieving your vision for your nonprofit. So this is always critical and it's so very important. Then under that, they have their blog section. Then under that, they have their networks. I'm not sure what they mean by that. I don't know if these are sponsors. I'm not really sure what they mean by networks. Um, but yeah, they have them there. Now, if you have any sponsors, you've worked with them, um, you've partnered with really big organizations, those are what we call trust badges. And they are so important to your um, to your organization. So we recommend that if you've done those partnerships, we really recommend you adding them to your website. 
then under that they have their credibility section where they have their annual reports we talked about annual reports and financial reports we talked about that in the 10 elements of effective nonprofit websites if you have not seen that video before we are going to link it for you in the uh, in the card section above as well as in the description bar below this is another thing that is going to help cement the narrative about why your nonprofit should be trusted about why donors should donate to you about why sponsors should sponsor your nonprofit also so this is something that you must have on your nonprofit website and then at the end of that they have their footer section which is uh, it's fine it's not as well optimized as it could have been um it has their contact information i have said this in a previous uh, in a previous website case study i think it was the one for i think it was the case study for rising hearts foundation which if you're interested in checking out that website case study it's going to be linked for you in the description bar below we say that if you're going to add contact information contact information is never ever complete without you having uh, a physical location of where your headquarters are right as a nonprofit, you must always have physical offices i feel like that's just a it's just a prerequisite for all nonprofits. you must always have a physical web uh, a physical location sorry where people can come and see you guys face to face so that would be the recommendation that i i say for their contact information also for the footer this is always a very good place for you to ask for donations again just in case someone has uh, scrolled to the bottom of your page and they want and now they're ready to donate so this is also another very good place where you can leverage that and ask for donations now in the next video we are going to be reviewing the donation page so to make sure you don't miss that website case study be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as turn on your post notification bell to be notified when that video goes live and with that we are going to see you in the next video